everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Primal Ops. And I know I've had some people comment like, Beavis, are you not going to play it? What's going on? Where are you? This, this game, is, is it still is it still coming? <laughs> and we are playing it on this new iPad. It's all fancy. Look at it. Look at it. Hoo -hoo. I can move it without a brain connection. Look how cool that is. There has been actually a few updates that came out for this game. And we'll be able to play it in like its highest spec. This is HD, baby. Don't worry. First new, well, the new thing that they've added is squad. Now, I, I kind of like the idea of this. I don't, I'm not too much of a fan of its execution. Because basically all it amounts to is that you put two things in or, or how whatever the requirements are. They go off. They collect the things, and then you get the things, and that's it. There's no, like, mini game. there's no nothing with it. It's a bit like... Eh. Also, some dinosaurs have had a revamp. As you'll notice on this Investigate Rumors um, of Poacher Activity, this is the old Pachyrhinosaurus, and they've actually redid the model, so it's not the one from Jurassic World Evolution, which is really odd. I don't, maybe they were just like placeholders and they're slowly going to update some. I don't think so because everything is Jurassic World Evolution, basically. <laughs> so we'll just claim that. So there you go. That's what you get. You get all the stuff. You claim that. You get all that stuff. Um, and it resets. So you need a level four dinosaur in order to do that one. So we obviously don't have that. Um, or some of them have specific requirements for certain handlers and stuff. But the graphics has definitely been updated in general, the UI. And I'm expecting this to be released either this month or next month. I'm assuming May. May, May April is when we're going to see so much Dominion stuff come out. Has been updated, the quests. So every week there's a new one. And by doing it, you complete certain things. You get keys of that certain dinosaur. Uh, and you can unlock DNA that way. Uh, what's interesting is that they fixed the way it was. So you could do five of the first one, then four of that one, three of that one, then two of that one, and so forth, so on and so forth. However, this, the earliest one, the easiest one technically, which you can just run through, um, gave you the most. It was like crazy. Now they only give you 10 and you only need to do five of each, which is actually really nice. Um, so I'm not like, we're gonna, I mean, we can give it a shot. And this is my team at the moment. We've got level 19, Antarctic Pelter, level 10, Velociraptor, and 10, Stegosaur. Also, you'll see it tells you more about the characters or the dinosaurs you're using. It'll tell you whether they're, you know, stronger against the certain uh, enemy you're coming up against. As you see the raptor, it's saying you're very good against this because it's the something or other. Um, and that's pretty cool. So we'll just quickly jump in just to show you what a mission's like. We're on very easy. So already, you'll notice the difference. We're playing this on high and we don't have a problem because we've got the new iPad. No, we're not bad. So it runs really smooth. You'll notice the stamina bar has been changed. The health bar has been changed. Um, it's probably been changed since last time. It's been changed at least twice now. And now the way the enemy, like that's changed as well. The way the enemy shoots their grenade launch launches or rockets or whatever. Um, basically, we can kill everything because this is the easiest mode. Now, in the last update, um, it was... I don't know what it was. It was super hard. Like, impossible. I think they've balanced it a little bit more. As you can tell, you know, this is... This is supposed to be for anyone. However, I still take a bunch of damage really quick. Uh, and this is the easiest level. But they've actually changed some of the levels completely. So it's not always this. It's not always... I mean, I'll, I'll be honest... It is pretty much always this. <laughs> but there is one other level that is different now. And it's like a boss fight. So yeah, this would normally happen. And you'd end up having to subdue the, the Acrocanthosaurus and what have you. Um, but now, when there's certain missions that is to, you know, on the, the campaign that you can just keep on redoing. Um, they now no longer have you always do the same thing. So you, you defeat some of the... What do you call it? some of the mercenaries? You get up the dinosaur, you do this, and you extract it. And that's pretty much it. Now they've changed it. Um, so we'll go over that as well, shall we? Uh, also, we have so many crates to unlock. I've saved them. I've been waiting for you. Where have you been? Um, so we do have 230. So we could open 11 crates, which is a bit of a shame. We're 10 off the other one, but I'm not too fussed. Um, so... Uh, let's go into the crate. So before we do anything, we're going to claim something or other. £2.90 off for that now. Still can't do it because it's not released yet. Now, it used to be you had so many dinosaurs you could get. Uh, it doesn't tell you the percentage chance of getting it, but you now have a more, you call it like a laser focus of the sort. Of, you know, it's, it's more focused, which is good because I have unlocked everything I can that is in the campaign. 
which isn't a great deal. There's also other crates that we're going to open as well. And hopefully... Oh, that's two Allosaurs. Oh, oh, heck yes. I don't know what I'm on for Allosaur. Let's have a quick check. Allosaur, where are you? Where are you, baby? We're on nine. <laughs> if we get Allosaur every time. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh, we also have this as well. Um, so that was open certain crates. 50 DNA is always good. We're so close to 2,000. And you, you might as well just do that because you get a Jurassic key and 10 Jurassic keys. You open up a really good chest. So we'll go back into not quests. Go into the shop. The ye old shoppy. And keep on opening these T-Rexes. Yes. The animation for it's great. I'm going to sit like this. It's fun. Oh, okay. Well, Carnotaurus and Acrocanthosaurus. Even when you just get the common, it's not so bad. Because the common, you can always rank up. And like, it, like they're putting out squads now that you can send off to do missions, um, which is pretty decent. So, I mean, you're going to need like a rank four for that or something. Uh, now, I have done this T-Rex event before and have not once got T-Rex DNA. Ah, there it is for the first time. I knew. I had a feeling if I say it, it was going to do it. So we have T-Rex DNA. So we still got loads more to open. We got five regular crates with epic gar uh, DNA guaranteed. I'm kind of... I mean, Carnotaurus is good. I don't use Carnotaurus. I don't think because of Antarctopelta and the Raptor. Because Antarctopelta is level 20. But if I get Carnotaurus to rank 2, I might use it. Um, because at that point, I'm pretty sure level 20 Carnotaurus is probably going to be better than a raptor. I think that raptor animation, the, oh, the, the, the type of attack that they do, which is like jump on and pounce. Oh, another T-Rex. Heck yes. We just need like 70. <laughs> so we need a lot more. Um, so yeah, we're opening up a lot of crates here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting another Carnotaurus. Or at least ranking up the Carnotaurus. And we're getting a lot of DNA here for it. I mean, it's not a great deal, but then again, every week, you can probably open up 11 crates easy per, like, the different type. And each one is focused on a different legendary, I think. So with the Pachycephalosaurus, it's focused on the Stiggy. With this T-Rex one, it's focused on the T-Rex. And Kynosaur, Spinosaur, so on and so forth. They're all, like, focused on their own. Oh my god, so many T-Rex DNA! <laughs> yes! And the last one, um... I, yeah, we've also level 10 Sanctuary level. I don't think that really means anything. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. Um, and that is all acro. That is horrible. Five acro. Okay. So we also have three Jurassic crates to open. And this one, this is really good. Because if you get an epic, you've got a chance of getting eight. Ooh! As well as there's loads of other uh, dinosaurs I don't have unlocked, like Eupocephalus, Hyungosaurus, Sinoceratops, Aerot like any of these epics except for Raptor I don't have. Um, and as far as the res, that's the new Pachyrhinosaurus uh, thing, so it is completely different. Um, I don't have Chunkingosaurus, I don't think. I don't have Ichthovenator either. Um, I might have Sinosaurus. But let's see, we, we got three of these to open. As well as, like, like five other ones in, like, a bundle, which cost DNA. So, eh, that one, not the best. But, again, these are all free, after all. I mean, if I wasn't recording a video, I'd probably save these, just because every day you have a mission to open two crates. You may, you may as well just save it and just um, crank out those. Oh, I think we have Ichthominator. I think we have... No, we don't. Never mind. <laughs> I thought we were so close to getting a Thovenator. That was 6 DNA. Come on, please, more Thovenator, please. Something good? Uh, well, it's a rare. And it's a mono. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now we purchase with one. Okay, so we can do 200 for that. But if we, however, if we focus on this and open five crates, we have a ch we have guaranteed epic DNA. So we may as well. It's the same same things. I'll spend a thousand DNA. Uh, sorry, Amber, because... <laughs> Doesn't really matter. We're over one by one. Okay, let's see. Are we going to get the guaranteed on this one? No. Okay, Ichthominator. Damn. Put Dimorphin on, I don't have either. So that's a good one. Uh, let's open again. So much. All oh, crates up in here. Uh, okay, that might be the guaranteed. And it is Allosaurus. Okay, sure. Sure, we're going towards Allosaurus. I'll take it. Uh, we got three more. So now we're not guaranteed anything. We're not guaranteed any epic DNA. Uh, and I'm saying that there is all common DNA. Sweet. Thank you, game. Sweet. <laughs> Second to last one. What we got? Oh, rare? Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, Pachyranosaurus and the Chunkingosaurus as well. Very good. And the last one. Here we go. Come on, Ichthominator. Or an Epic. I'll take an Epic. Oh, it is an Epic. Okay. Uh, Baryonyx. Five for that. Right. So after opening all those, have I got a dinosaur unlocked? I don't think so. <laughs> 900 DNA. And if I'm honest, I don't know what I'd spend my DNA on. So we're just going to open. We're going to open four more. We'll open up four more. And hopefully we can rack out an Ichthobinator. Like two. We need res. And there's no res. Perfect. Thank you, game. Thank you. Marvelous. Beaut no, that's an advert. We don't want to watch that one. I mean, I guess we could save... I mean, we're pretty close to getting the guaranteed epic DNA. Maybe we should have. Because <laughs> this is awful. I know. Well, that was guaranteed, right? We got two epic DNAs from this. Let's just do, you know, four regulars. Or five regulars. Four regulars. And see what the difference is. If it's better to save up. So far, our survey says, yes, it is better to save up. Surely I've got uh, Carnotaurus done now. I would have thought. Okay, so let's open up this last one. See what we get. Yeah, yeah, I think it's better. But it's over it, damn it! <laughs> right, let's have a look at our dinosaurs. So, do we have anything that's ready to level up? I'm just getting myself lovely and comfy. Um, it should be orange. So where is Conotaurus? So we're 59 out of 70, so we're pretty close. And we're 10 off leveling up the raptor, which we should get in three days. So if you want to see a level 20 raptor, oh, I guess we can. Again, I think something they could add into this game is skins. Skins would be pretty cool, uh, as well as perks on skins. Take a leaf out of Hungry Dragon or Hungry Sharks book, which is to put perks and stuff on skins. Uh, thing is, now you cannot purchase stamina if your stamina is full. So that sucks. Because I would, you know, I've got 743, which is great for videos, because then I could just, you know, do loads of stuff. Um, so I want to show you the boss fight. So the boss fight. So we got Acrocanthosaurus here. We are very overpowered. Um, its enemy power is 180, and the my handler alone is 1,100. So it's only four. So we may as well do this. We you gotta crank out two missions, and then we can get five of those um, keys. So we receive reports of, wow, like a the source is in the area. So normally you would end up, you know, going to attack um, a base of mer uh, mercenaries and stuff. However, this time, you're blocked off and you've got this boss battle arena. So you've got all these skeletons and stuff and some dead, like, I was going to say mongoose <laughs> from Halo. Some dead quad bikes, some destroyed jeeps. Oh, it's all leading up to it. <gasps> There's the dead sauropod of some sort. And there it is! So this is really cool. Like This is something they've added in recently. So we're, we're just going to shoot at it. And as you can see, um, it does barely any damage to us. Uh, I, I mean, Stegosaurus should have been there. And look at all the juicy friggin' loot you get. It is gorgeous. I don't think there's anything else to have a look around here. But you do get a bunch of coin. And should we do it on legendary and or hard mode and see what else we get? Look at it. This is so cool. Oh, and it's vanished. <laughs> Sweet. So if you want just to farm resources, you can just do it this way. Um, as well as, you know, farming for Acrocanthosaurus. Now, depending on what difficulty you do, you can only do three. So you can do three easy, and that's it. You can't do three medium, you can't do three hard. And I think the rewards are probably going to be better for the harder dinosaurs. So what we'll do is we'll just take this straight to hard mode. Oh no, look! Oh, never mind, you can! I, I swear I did something. It was like, nah, doesn't matter what you do. So this costs ten instead of four, which is interesting. Okay, okay. So let's see. You saw how quickly that was, how, how easy that was. So I'm just going to invite the stegosaur to come around the corner. And, you know, get my DNA back. Because it has a good amount of stamina. It can hang around for a fair bit. So we need a lot. So we'll get the Antarctic Pelter. And then now we'll run in, trigger the cutscene, put the raptor in. And then we've got our three dinosaurs. Got three dinosaurs ready. Here we go. Right, right. We're backing up. We're backing up. We're backing up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, we're backing up. Oh, Jesus. Whoa! Oh, yep, this one's a little bit harder. Yep, just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. And go! Because it's probably going to do a lot of damage. 
Also, I, I, I seem to take damage from something. I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so do we get loads? Oh, we got so much. Why did we get help from it? It's already dead. Uh, so I think we got one chest. Let's take that one chest. Uh, five, five. Oh, that was good. So we got all upgrades for the handler we're using, actually. So let's see how many coins we got from that. Because I don't think we got much with the other one. Um, but let's have a look. At least I think it was for her. I might be for the veterinarian. So 1,003 DNA. Yeah, I guess. I guess maybe. Let's have a look. So let's go to chapter 8. Now, do we have any other big carnivores that we could do a battle with? Oh, I don't know. What's this? Draco... Sukumimus, possibly? Sukumimus might be one of those battles. Um, yeah, so we're going dinosaur. So this is the new model for the Pachyrhinosaurus. Now, I don't know whether it always looked like this. To me, it it feels like it didn't. It was something else. Um, but I, now, now it's got me questioning. Because of uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. I'm pretty sure that's the one in Jurassic World Evolution 2. But we've done the quest. We're going to collect that. We're going to get four more homalocephalae DNA, as well as five keys. So if we go into dinosaurs, homalocephalae, it's getting there. It's getting there. We're on the cusp of lots of dinosaurs being rank three. So we look at Sanctuary. They might have updated the rewards. I'm not too sure. Five amber seems a bit low, if I'm going to be honest. Um, you've got all of these. I'm close to the Stegosaur family. Family? Family? Getting a damage 10% extra bonus. So that could be pretty decent. We just need to unlock one more. Uh, I think once you unlock all the dinosaurs, you get that bonus. But it's one out of four. So I'm wondering whether once you unlock them, something else happens? Maybe that's where the Sanctuary level comes in. And the higher Sanctuary level, maybe you spend that on boosting certain families? I don't know. I'm just thinking it could be a bit like Minecraft. How you have XP and you use XP for other things. Could be. Could be something useful there. Well, anyway. Um, so I'm going to have a look at the handler, see if I can upgrade anything. No, it wasn't her. We did get veterinarian stuff. I, but yes, the gauntlet is for him. Now, I mean, I'm going to upgrade her a little bit just because she's really bad. <laughs> like, the damage output is really good, but the health is shocking. But she's level 33 and has less health than he does. So I can only imagine if we were to level him up, he gets 10 health. If we level her up, she gets how much? 6 health. If we level him up, he gets 8 health. So yeah, there's definitely like, she's the attacker, he's got more health, and I don't know. He's probably just got a balance of everything. So, while we're here, I want to see how far we can get now um, against the daily missions. Because I don't think I've ever completed it, and apparently at the end, there's supposed to be something good. I want to see! <gasps> Look at that! There's like a graphic on the campfire and fight. That's awesome! I mean, this is this is proper HD graphics now. All right. Oh god. Oh god. Yep, that's right. Smack them all. I don't know whether my Stegosaur does passive damage to me. I feel like it does. Or at least the, the Acrocanthosaurus did. It did passive damage to me. Ooh! I'll take that. Thank you. All right. Let's put in the Antarctica Pelter. Yes! Oh god, oh, kind of tried to jump out of it, but the tree was in the way. Oh god, <laughs> we're kind of on fire. I shoot him, take you out. Was there one more? Oh, he died, never mind. He succumbed to his wounds. So let's run down this way. Ha -da 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 -da. Go across the bridge. Oh, the bridge! They need, to, they need to make these missions more interesting, to put it lightly. I mean, yeah, this is cool. Like, you know, finding crates and stuff. But they need to do more. They really need to do more. Oh, God, look at the... See, look at the health, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, God. <laughs> and this is the first one. It's only going to get harder. You know, I've completed all the missions. I've got her ranked up to level 33. She needs a buff. May like, the health needs a buff. Because... The snipers can kill me in one. Look at that! I just took damage there and almost died. Like, the snipers can one-shot me. Um, so I need to really be careful with those guys. Um, oh god, oh god, yep, yeah, we're gonna shoot. Oh god, don't! No! Ah! Are you trying to roll? Got stuck on something. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! 
Oh, we need to run. Run, 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 run. That's not what I wanted. Is this where I needed to be? I don't even know. Oh, oh. I need to keep moving. I need to keep moving. And target Pelter, shield me. Please, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the guy with the assault weapon. He's the one that can do a lot of damage. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. This is the first daily mission. This is the easiest mission. And it is so tough. Oh, God, he spotted me. Right, so we got an assault dude. That's fine. Uh, we probably want to run away. I'll just fire across. Fire from away. Oh, there's a sniper. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Ah! So Ah, no. Get help. Help. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? The first, the freaking first mission. And it is that hard. A level 33. And the reward isn't even that great. But it's just like so little bits of amber and stuff. It's ridiculous. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here until, you know, more things come out for uh, Primal Ops. I just kind of want to give an update on the game because I know a lot, not a lot of people can play it. You need like a, a, a certain account in order to download it and all that jazz and yada yada. But it is progressing. It is becoming better. I think a lot of people when it first came out were thinking, yeah, it's very bare bones. And it is. And adding stuff like this is okay. But it's not game changing. The squad thing. It's like, uh, oh, yep, that off you go. Do a thing. There needs to be a variety of missions. The boss battle is what is very interesting. In fact, I just want to do that one more time. Because <laughs> it's loads of fun on easy. You basically just walk in there and go, yes, die. We'll do that once more. That's satisfying. Having all the coin spew out, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. And I guess when my dinosaurs get better, um, it's going to help. But at the same time, oh God, oh God, don't, don't come to attack me. Don't do it. Oh, it's going to attack me. You know what? Bite me. Chop me. I don't care. Go on, do it again. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, God. Look at all this stuff. Yes. Sweet. So how much stuff did we get? <laughs> They've also added a skip button as well. Oh, yes. Look at it all. Didn't even manage to see it all. It's saying that, though, I honestly don't think upgrading your equipment makes much of a difference because it's, it's so minute. Like, the upgrades you get from them, it's like, oh, it increases by 0.33%. <laughs> Which is pitiful. It's rubbish. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye. Oh,